Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the two latest products from Charlotte Tilbury, the Jewel Pots and the Jewel Lips. I'm going to apply them on me, compare them with similar products from Charlotte and other brands and of course swatch them all. So if you are interested in this content just keep on watching. If you already saw one of my videos before, thank you very much for returning and if you are new to my channel, welcome! My name is Marisa and in here we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle, mainly focusing on over 50 issues. So if you think that this content might interest you, please consider subscribing and following me on Instagram where I publish almost daily beauty, lifestyle and sometimes cat-related stories. Now, this new collection from Charlotte Tilbury includes these two products in two different shades, the Pillow Talk and the Walk of No Shame one. I got mine in both in Pillow Talk, first because I thought that the pink shade would look better on my eyes than the red one and second because I wanted to compare this lip gloss with one that I already have this one. This was a previous release from Charlotte and let's start by comparing these two. So, as you can see in the photo that I'm going to show you now, they are very different. So this is more like a um, standard lip gloss, more pigmented and without sparkle, while this one is as shimmery as its name implies. They both have a very soft scent, slight vanilla one, but it's very light and they don't have any taste whatsoever. And I'm going to apply the new one, the Jewel Lips, for you to see how it looks. I have to say I'm a little bit sorry that I didn't get the Walk of No Shame, because this one on my lips, it's practically transparent. As I'm sure you will be able to see. It does have like the tiniest micro shimmers in it that have all the colors possible in it and I'm going to apply the previous top lip gloss on my top lip and you will see the difference. much more pigmented and honestly the problem that I have with this one is that my natural lip color is very dark, it's almost like a berry tone, so it doesn't look the best because I still can see a little bit of it beneath this more pigmented lip gloss. So in terms of shades I definitely prefer the newest one which is more sheer. I'm going to remove it and apply all over my lips the new one. I don't find it sticky and in terms of pigmentation I have swatched some of the lip glosses that I have in my collection here in my arm. So the first one is this one is the new Charlotte Tilbury. Then you have two from um, Pat McGrath these two here in the middle and they are the Sunset Rose and the Peach Perversion and on the bottom it's one from Fenty Beauty and this is Fenty Glow and I would say uh, that the Fenty Glow is the one that is closest to the Charlotte Tilbury in terms of pigmentation because the Pat McGrath, at least these two that I have, are slightly more pigmented. In terms of shine they are practically the same. I'm going to apply now the Pillow Talk lipstick and I'm going to place on top this new jewel one and as I hope you can see these are like the perfect duo. All in all I have to say I like this one better than the previous one. I'm definitely going to continue on using it and if I can get my hands on the Walk of No Shame one I will definitely use that one too and I will show you as well. Before we go into the pots I have to say that on this 
video and on my next future ones I will place all the information regarding each product like price, quantity, uh, shelf life, where is it made, uh, claims etc. on the image that I will always place here on my right side and only refer to that data when I want to emphasize any special characteristic or make a comparison or, or whatever. This is the tiny pot and it's really a beautiful one. Look at this top. It really looks like a jewel. And this, just for comparison, is the typical pot from the Eyes to Mesmerize from Charlotte Tilbury. This pot is in glass and it's definitely more weighty. This one has a beautiful top but it's made of plastic. And the formulas are different as well. So this is the typical formula. It's the only one that I have. I was drawn to this beautiful petroleum green that I've swatched for you in here. This formula is probably the most emollient of all of the swatches that I have here. And although I've not used this color in my eyes in any video, I know that this formula performs beautifully and so does the new one. But they feel completely different. The new one, and I have to say that when I've opened it and looked at this, I immediately thought of the hourglass scattered light ones with this little cover, which is almost identical. So you remove it. And this product feels less emollient, less spongy as well. And you can feel the tiny micro glitters in it that gives all this shine as you can see here on my swatch. This is the new one. The Reflect looks almost silver, but in reality it has all the shades in it practically. I can see pink, I can see blue, I can see purple, gold, almost like a diamond, as it is described by Charlotte Tilbury. They wear very well. I've had them like for an entire day and does not crumble and stays put perfectly. So these two are the hourglass scattered ones. So the first one, which is the closest, is the reflect shade. And although it looks and feels much more gritty when we touch it, when we apply it on the skin, it's almost like the tiny little bits just melt into the skin and they give an almost identical look of melted brilliance on the skin. So as you can see, although they have a different aspect on the pot, the result is practically the same. All this to say that they are beautiful. All of them perform beautifully in swatches and when applied on the eyes, they last an entire day. And it's just a question of choosing the shade that you want. This formula of the jewel pots from Charlotte Tilbury is definitely one of my favorite ones. And very easy to apply. I used two different methods with brush and just with the finger. I think it's very easy and very quick in, in both ways. Although you packed a little bit more if you use a finger than with a brush. Even a natural hair brush like the one that I used. So in resume, what can I say? It's a beautiful product with a beautiful packaging. It's extremely easy and quick to apply. It lasts the entire day. And if you like the Pillow Talk shade and that reddish copper one, the Walk of No Shame, I think you will love this product as well. So what are my final thoughts regarding these products? Well, Although they are not groundbreaking, they are very nice products that perform as beautifully as you would like them to be. So if you do like the Pillow Talk shade and the Walk of No Shame, I totally recommend them. And that's it for this shorter video of today. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing.
subscribing to my channel if you did until next time thank you very much for watching my video and having spent this time with me bye